In this video, we'll look at how we convert one atmosphere to millimeters of mercury. So the question is, one atmosphere, how many millimeters of mercury would that be? So it turns out that you really just have to memorize that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. In fact, that's our conversion factor. So this isn't something you can just work out. You either memorize it, or if your teacher gives this to you on a test, you could use that. This is very useful. We see this come up when we're doing problems with the gas laws. So if this is our conversion factor, we can use it to solve all kinds of problems, all kinds of conversions between atmospheres and millimeters of mercury. Say I have 3.2 atmospheres, and I want to know how many millimeters of mercury I have. Well, to do that, I can use this as a conversion factor. I know this is going to be a pretty big number because one atmosphere is almost 800 millimeters. So three is about three times 800, 2,400 millimeters of mercury. It'll be a big number. So I can multiply by a conversion factor because I know that there are 760 millimeters of mercury in one atmosphere. So now, like we said, we're going to multiply so we get a big number. When we multiply 3.2 atmospheres by 760 millimeters of mercury, atmospheres will be on the top and the bottom. They'll cancel out millimeters of mercury, so we know we're doing it right. We do the multiplication, and we get 2,432 millimeters of mercury in 3.2 atmospheres. So we were pretty close. So to recap, this is just something you memorize, but it's useful because you can use it to solve other problems. Pause and give this one a try. So here's how you do it. This is Dr. B converting atmospheres to millimeters of mercury. Thanks for watching.